Hey guys, welcome to Diva Talk tonight. I'm your host, Calda Music, and tonight we have a very entertaining episode for you guys. And I uh, just want you to check out my nice fit, see how good I look. Thank you to Helen Owens, my celebrity makeup artist, hairstylist, image consultant, and I uh, want to give a shout out to Ray Lynn who did my makeup as well. Don't I look dazzling, darling? Very dazzling, darling. Really? Really, really, really. Ah! <laughs> You're watching Diva Talk tonight. some of the the reality TV shows where people are just kind of like out there and mm -hmm. kind of putting out negativity mm -hmm. and then people are really getting into negative things that they can do to others and I, I don't think that's cool. Yeah. I'm, I'm from the old school so I, I don't really think that's cool. I mean I, I, I really don't care for it. I'm like one of those, um, what do you call it, uh, TV land viewers. I'm still watching the old Nick at night. Stuff. <laughs> 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 yeah. 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 So I'm real cool. I, you know, what I about it. you, uh, Mr. John Esquire? Uh, uh, Sir John. <laughs> Sir. Sir Sean John. Excuse me. It goes together. It goes together. Sir Sean John Esquire. Don't get it twisted. <laughs> Yes. Uh, I just I just got uh, done watching finishing up this really good reality show called Breaking Bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Very very intense. Yeah, yes. yeah I, just, I couldn't believe all those people got together and they had all those really good camera angles. And, you know, Sean, can I just interrupt by saying you look like such a diva today? I mean, you're upstaging me. Oh, look, at look at his highlights. What's the blonde? That's my look. Look at his. <laughs> He took my look. Look at that. Don't touch my hair. I woke up this way. <laughs> he woke up like this. Yeah. He woke up like this. <laughs> well, you know, if, if you guys, I don't know, from what you hear on the streets, whatever, what's the most popular popular reality uh, show that's being watched right now? Even though if you don't watch it, what do you guys know? Uh, love and Hip Hop? Yeah. Yeah. That's one yeah, of the that is. That. Yeah. Love and Hip Hop, yeah. I would say. What mm. do you think? Um, Especially with all the Bruce Jenner stuff that's going on, whatever, oh. whatever the Kardashians are doing, people are tuning into that. Yeah. I know. Which, I, I, which I, kind of goes on to why I don't like them. Like, you don't have to actually have talent to be famous anymore. Like, you don't have sure. to be 
a singer mm-hmm. or an entertainer. You can just have to be pretty and have a fat booty and you're a star right. now. Right. And, uh, and the fat so booty bad. is a fake booty. Uh, now, I like a fat booty. Don't, <laughs> don't get me wrong. <laughs> More. <laughs> However, Even if it's fake, though? Ha- I don't got to touch it. I just got to watch it. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Helen, what do you think about uh, about breast implants and and, and butt implants? What do you think about well, that? Well, you know, it's it's a choice for people. You know, I'm I'm a pretty I'm pretty stacked in the back. I'm a little bit like I'm trying to take off. Yeah, I think it's overrated because you know I've had this ever since. You know, I've had it all my life. Right. So it's it's a little bit overrated, so it's a little natural. I'm trying to bring it down a notch. So I'm just thinking okay. to myself, wow, you know, that's. I mean, but it's cool. I mean, do what you want to do. I look at it like whatever makes you feel good, whatever makes you comfortable mm-hmm. in your look. Mm-hmm. Hey, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Sean, have you ever dated a woman with implants or no? Sadly not. Not yet. No, sadly <laughs> not. So you want to date a woman? I, I mean, I'm not opposed to it. I can't like knock it until I rock it kind of deal. Okay. So, yeah, I can't. <laughs> can't pass on it. Just what like, if like that moment happens and something you know goes bad? Something like explodes? Yeah. Uh, well. You rock with that too, or what? <laughs> we'll don't play it off. Until you try it. Yeah. <laughs> we just don't know how far you can go. Uh, yeah. You know, you don't know how far you can go. You just don't know the threshold, the pain there. Oh my. So, no, do you have dated a woman? I did, I did a few women that have had fake parts. That had fake parts? Parts. What about fake nose? If she had a fake nose, I didn't know it. Mm-hmm. So, no. um, Helen, who do you fancy right now in the in the industry? Whether, you know, it's TV, film, music. Well, who tickles your fancy? Who's kind of at the top? Um, I think, you know what, I really have a lot of respect for uh, I'm for women empowerment, so I'm looking at women like uh, Nikki Minaj. She, I think she's great because mm-hmm. I think she owns her own stuff and her own label, and she owns her own thing, and she's doing her own thing, and I love it. Yeah, she's Nikki writing Minaj. for herself. Yeah. She's putting that stuff out, and you know she looks good, and so that's you know I'm all for that mm-hmm. with the women empowerment thing. So I think she's great. That's cool. I think she's great. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah. I'm you her right now. Um. Well, I did make a mention of Game of Thrones just recently, and um, <laughs> I, I am I, I'm probably the only person that will, only black male that will personally admit this, but I love that show. Um, so there's a character, <laughs> there's a character on that show called uh, Littlefinger, yeah. and he is the dope, he's the dude, like the way he manipulates the situation, the way, he, the way he talks, the way, the, the way he actually speaks is... It's beautiful, like so. I, I like that guy. I don't know what the name of the actor, but dude, Littlefinger from Game of Thrones. Would he have an accent or something? The way he nah, speaks. the way he talks is like it's, it's, it's slithering almost, oh, like jeez. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. It's, yeah. it, but but he be gaming you though, like the way the oh, it's beautiful. Like if you if you if you're in the chess, the moves that the dude has made throughout the duration of the show, classic stuff. <laughs> okay. All right, well, you know what? I want to thank you guys for appearing on my show. And uh, before we go, you know, I always have to do my little glove of truth, though. <laughs> and I will hand it to. Who's the lucky person? Woo! <laughs> oh, oh, I've been hit with the glove of truth. Okay. I only handed it to Helen because I know she will answer the honest truth to this question. I'm a lie. Now, you know, I'm a lie. What I'm really lie. hoping is that this glove does not fit because you must have quit. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. It, oh, it fits. It fits. It fits. Okay, so um, then Helen, my question to you is... Um, sure. <laughs> she's like, sure. I'm <laughs> waiting she gets the question. <laughs> Have you ever farted in public and tried to hide it? Oh, many times. <laughs> question for you. Uh, Sean, when's the, um, well I shouldn't say when's the last time, have you ever eaten your own booger? 
Yeah, I'll probably, I'll say yeah. Yeah, I'll say yeah. I'll, 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 I'll say yeah. yeah. So are you one of those people who are driving in the car and like eating the No, 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 no. I'll, I'll definitely pick my nose. I am like shameless about that. Really? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I, just, I just have to not eat it. <laughs> so you have to force yourself to yeah. not eat it? I'm, I'm thinking, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> I can never go back. These standards get in the way of me. Uh, no, I, I mean, definitely pick my nose from time to time. I mean, I do have to remind myself that I am a grown ass man. Yeah. Um, I can't well, keep doing stuff like that. Yeah. yeah, but um, no, not that I, I've given myself the benefit of the doubt that I probably have when I was younger, but okay, not so in your right. adult life. Not in my adult life. At yeah. least Appreciate public. That, bro. Yeah. <laughs> just, well, just, oh, cool. yeah. Let's just say, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, awesome, awesome. All right, well, before I let you guys go, if you could just give a special shout out and introduce your you know, Twitter, your Instagram, how people can reach you. Uh, Nolte? Okay, I'm your homie Nolte. You can find me on uh, Instagram, Facebook, all the social media. It's better to search me out by my Gmail, myshowgoes at gmail.com. Email me, holla at your homie if you want to get something done. I do everything across the board. Uh, special shout out to all the fan band and spicy promotions. Spicy Make promotions. Make sure you come out. Every second Saturday, New Caribbean City, 1408, oh, I'm sorry, 1408 Webster, Oakland, California, goes down Reggae Platinum. We do things. Ow! Okay, I am Helen Owens, and then I am Helen Her Secret. Um, at my, uh, let's see, uh, Facebook, Instagram, and also Twitter. So, um, hit me up. How about you, Sean? I am Sean Johnson, a part of the almighty band Raiju, R-A-I-J-U, and we are playing Warp Tour on the 20th, coming up. Awesome. Yeah! Raiju! Oh, check us out on yeah. Facebook, Raiju Music, Instagram Raiju Music, we'll be posting videos, we're going to be having contest giveaways for all of our material, we'll be seeing you on the road, thank you so much. Raiju Music. And, and why he's at it, I need my weight back. <laughs> we thought that was natural. We thought that was natural. No, no. Okay. Out deeply. Okay. I know. All right, you guys. Thanks for tuning in. We will talk tonight. We'll be right back. Raylan? Mm -hmm. I have a question. What's up? Well, it's kind of a little problem I have, but it's embarrassing. What? Well, um, I have a wedgie. That's normal. Well, my problem is. How do I pick it out? You use your hands. You don't use tweezers or any other no kind tweezers. of tool? tweezers. That's dangerous. Really? Yes. Well, how do you pick out your wedgies? I just go up in there and you pull. <laughs> just go up just in go there. Just go in and pull. Just and pull, pull it out, yeah. Okay. Just gotta get it done. Or you could do the wedgie dance. You know the wedgie dance, right? How do you do the wedgie you dance? Just, you just kind of want to just walk. You kind of just kind of just turn and wiggle it out. You know? Okay. Right, and then you can maybe. If the, that doesn't work, then you just gotta just grab mm -hmm. on up in yeah. there. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Well, guys, at me on Twitter at Kelvin Music, and let us know how you would pick out a wedgie. How do you get rid of your wedgies? Are you gonna walk it out? Walk it out. Walk it out. Walk it out. Or are you gonna shake it off? Shake it off. I'm gonna go in. And you're just gonna grab it. Just go in and grab Pull, it. Pull, release. Pull We're and release. <laughs> I don't know how straightforward we can be, but pull and release, and at me on Twitter. Out. How do you take your wedgies out? <laughs> and hello world, this is Kelda Music here on Diva Talk Tonight. I brought in a couple of, or I should say a bunch of cool guys here who are in a band. They're really awesome and uh, they love the Diva. Everyone, please give it up for Raiju! <laughs> Your names, could you individually just say who you are? Starting with you, my friend. Uh, my name is Bobby. I uh, play guitar. Ooh, Bobby. I'm Vinny, and I play drums. Sean Michael Johnson, uh, guitar and backup vocals. <laughs> so I'm Max, I play bass. Play bass? Wow, okay, so what, what kind of band are you guys? What, what music or what genre do you guys fall under? I guess you could say we're a heavy metal band. A heavy metal band? Um, yeah, but we, okay. uh, we like to do a little bit of everything. So uh, we definitely all come from a, a heavy metal background, but we'll get into uh -huh. some uh, some lighter stuff, you know, some like almost uh, sort of electronic dance music type of stuff. We'll do some, uh, mm -hmm. a lot of Latin fields, a lot of classical music influences going on. So mm -hmm. um, 
it comes down to us not being bored. When we write music, we don't want to sort of do the same thing over and over again. So like, you know, mm -hmm. by the time we're like, yeah, we've done this for six seconds or so, we can go to the next thing. So, wow, the next best thing, you know? You continue to develop and exactly. hone your craft, right? Well, how did you guys all meet? Uh, did, you, did you guys audition? And then it's like, okay, I pick him and him, we all became friends, or are you guys just all original friends? Well, it's a crazy story. I mean, so yeah. we, um, Vinny and I are probably the most boring part of the story. We grew up together uh, okay. since kindergarten. I think we've known each other. Oh yeah. As a matter of Back fact, in, the in uh, San Jose, California. So we we are the uh, sort of um, long time people that you sort of expect when you, you meet a band. Mm -hmm. um, but for the rest of it, it was kind of you, you hear about Craigslist being a sketchy place to meet people. Yeah. We're a Craigslist band. Oh yeah. You know what? That and nothing's wrong with that. I've met a lot of people off Craigslist. Dancers, singers, everything. Roommates. That's the best story. Yes. Roommates. Yeah. Hello. Mm -hmm. It doesn't exist for no reason, right? No. And, and, and so we met Max uh -huh. first off on Craigslist. He's from Florida, and um, he mm -hmm. was a um, a symphony bassist. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. out in Florida and uh, you know did the heavy metal thing mm -hmm. but uh, we basically listed all the best bass players we can think of and he responded and he was better than all of them. Because I could play so, all that stuff. Exactly. <laughs> so, you know. And then um, uh -huh. Scotty as well. Scotty's from, uh, he went to Musicians Institute in Los Angeles which is a really prestigious um, mm -hmm. school to become a professional musician. Oh, yeah, yeah. And that's um, where he studied to become a vocalist. Mm -hmm. okay. And then the most recent and the most uh, probably interesting, uh, Sean, we were actually on tour um, and we went up to Chico, California, where he was living at the time, mm -hmm. and his band was playing with us. Mm -hmm. And the day before the show, they canceled them. They were like, we can't do this show. I think, where were they going? Outside Lands? Burning Man or something? Coachella. Coachella. They were going to Coachella. Yeah. <laughs> and they, they canceled on him, and Sean was like, no, I'm going to play this show myself. So he played by himself, mm -hmm. song by himself, and had a backing track drummer and crushed it. Oh my! And God, like, that like, is like, harsh. Yeah. all of us were just like in the audience, like, oh my! Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so we sold. Them. And wow. that was that. That's that's the story of Reggie. That is awesome. Yeah. Summed up. Okay. Episode. Yeah. No, I totally understand. Right, we well, you know, I appreciate having you guys on my show. Uh, are there any last words? You guys want to give out your Twitter, your Facebook, your website? Yeah, you can How find us there? anywhere on the internet. Um, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, um, all of them. Uh, as, as well. Come so listen to us, rajumusic.bandcamp.com. That's true. Twitter.com slash rajumusic, uh, Facebook.com slash rajumusic. Uh, find us. You can find anything about our live shows, about what we're doing um, in terms of new music and the music we've recorded. And just say hi. All right. Check us out at Warp Tour. On the Warp Tour. Can't get any better than that. Thanks so much, you guys, for watching Dude Talk tonight, and thank you, Raju, for appearing on my show. Thank you. Yeah. Sweetheart. Yes, darling. I have an important question to ask you. You're going to ask me a question, or I'm going to ask you a question. Ah, you're going to ask me a question, okay. Yeah. I ask first. Oh, okay, you just you say first. how people get when they get privileged. Oh, right. Well, just hurry up. Come on. When's the last time you've gone commando? <gasps> I don't ah. even know. What? I don't. I really don't know. I think there was one time where I couldn't find a pair, and I was wearing my yogas, and you can't just wear any underwear with yogas, so I couldn't find a pair. That is so true. So I just was like, you know what? Screw it. Just screw it. Just go. I'll be free. <laughs> it can breathe. It can breathe. I'm free. Ooh. What about you? Mm, I don't know, maybe like a year or two ago? You're not bad. I, know, I didn't like it though. Mm. It felt weird. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, speaking of guests who are blessed, all right, I'd like to introduce this phenomenal artist. She's from Stockton, California. Everyone, Stockton. please welcome Sabrina Morris. Sweetheart, how are you? I am great. Great. Great now that I'm here. Yes, and you are looking great. Looking oh, fresh. Oh, gosh. Very headless. Oh, yes. Beautiful, beautiful. Fresh to death. Oh, my gosh. Okay. So, Sabrina, I understand that you're an artist. Why don't you tell us what kind of artist you are? It's hard to really define. I'm just a creative person in general. Mm -hmm. I know you um, create visuals. Yeah, the most recent project I've worked with the uh, local musician, he's a good friend of mine, 
and mm -hmm. uh, he had a lot of really great music to work with. I I work with stuff that's inspiring and mm -hmm. stuff that inspires me gets me going. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah. I've done poetry. I was published. I was um, up in art galleries, but for the most part, anything that really gets me going. Mm -hmm. uh, currently, I'm um, really working on just trying to get uh, visuals out there with his music and mm -hmm. trying to put some sort of brand to his his music. So mm -hmm. putting the aspect of the visual art to the music, mm -hmm. trying to get him, him out there really because he's um, an excellent artist and we're all really local. Mm -hmm. um, the most recent project was um, working with the few of his friends that were mm -hmm. involved in this song called uh, Stockton Someplace Special. So I had to get involved <laughs> because right. it is definitely in my hometown. Oh and, yeah, um, heck yeah. Stockton. Woo! I do have a few pictures that I did take back in 09 mm -hmm. and it was um, a really good, a really good start for me, but mm -hmm. I don't consider myself a photographer. I don't really consider myself a graphic artist. I really want to get into some sort of um, mm -hmm. software, like maybe some branding or possibly like application development. But ah, very interesting. If anyone needs any graphics, hit me up, Sabrina Renee uh, Morris at facebook.com. I'm from Stockton. And she's from Stockton. Stockton. Okay. All right. Well, Sabrina, I really appreciate you coming on the show. And uh, thank you so much for your time. <laughs> Did my sound guy just grope you putting on your mic or what? Mm hmm Did you like it? <coughs> a little bit. You liked it a little bit, huh? Yeah. Is that why you went to him like the second time? Oh, yeah. my mic! Oh, it's yeah. better to my breast! It was. It was right in the crevice. Just right in the crevice? Yeah. All right. There. Right in there. the deep end. Okay. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Well, we'll bring him out again in a minute. Okay. So, and he'll help. Because it's charging. The crevice. Oh, so you charge for that kind of stuff? Sometimes. Oh, okay. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys, so I have another special guest here on Diva Talk tonight. She is tall, beautiful, and she's a great writer. Stunning. Stunning, stunning. Okay? So she's a filmmaker, author. Everyone, please welcome Elva Nelson Hayes. Well, without the hills. Well, good Lord. Wait, 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 wait. wait, wait. <laughs> Take them off. See, I look like my kids now. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Elva, how tall are you? That you made the film off of right now. Yes. Okay. Okay. If you don't mind, I just want to read a few lines here. If, that, ahead, if that's okay, you know, I'm, I'm a fan of the way it looks. You know, don't judge a book by its cover, but you know, you got to judge this one. This is a very nice looking, you know, well put together. Party. It's party. It's party. It's party. Party with a birdie. <laughs> okay. All right. So, um. Let's see, I have one friends and lovers. Mm -hmm. Ruthie opened the door to the back bedroom and just walked in. She couldn't believe she was seeing George doing something inappropriate out of Melody Bird. <laughs> <laughs> Melody was supposed to be her best friend. Oh, Ruthie she... told her everything. Well, almost everything. Melody didn't know Ruthie was six months pregnant with George's baby. Nobody knew that besides George, that is. Judging by George's reaction when she told him the news, Ruthie was sure George hadn't said a word to anyone. Ruthie knew he wasn't happy at all about her getting pregnant. More like too scared, or more like scared to death. He didn't even want to know the details or anything, and now he had started avoiding her. None of her friends or siblings knew either. Gossip like that is too good to go without being spread. It would have spread all throughout the projects and gotten back to her by now if it was out. But Melody did know how Ruthie loved her, some good George Mays. Ooh. That is hot girlfriend. Right. Love I love the things you're doing. You're an inspiration to all. And uh, again, I, you know, I'm, I'm a huge fan. Thank you. That's why you're on Diva Talk tonight. <laughs> okay, and uh, just one more thing before we go. Can you just uh, give uh, your Twitter, your website, how can people reach you if they want to purchase the book? Absolutely. The book is available at elvanelsonhayes.com. That's my name.com. It's available on Amazon.com, barnesandnoble.com. But first, go to elvanelsonhayes.com. Um, on Facebook, Elva Nelson Hayes. The Unnamed the book, the movie has a Facebook page. What's in the name? The movie has a Facebook page. On Twitter, I'm Elva Nelson Hayes. And on Instagram, I'm Miss Elva. 
MS underscore LBA. Miss Alpha. All right. Thank you so much for coming to the show. Thank you. 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 Thank you.